Hey guys, welcome back on my channel. Today's video is going to be all about cool tone undertone lipstick. So I will be sharing with you great shades or type of shades that suit especially well cool tone undertones. Obviously, I'm not doing this to tell you what to wear, what not to wear. It's just because it's been requested quite a lot. I know that when you start wearing a lipstick, you don't necessarily know what suits you, like what is the best type of red for your skin. So I decided to share with you some of my favorites. I tried to include quite a few. I will probably list down below quite a few more and especially I will list also how to see if you have cool undertone or warm undertone. This video is all about the cool ones. I will do a second one all about warm undertone. So currently I'm wearing a really cool undertone foundation. This is the L'Oreal True Match in C1 which is which is the lightest shade that I own, but it's also the most pink tone uh, foundation that I have. So you can really see the type of color, how it looks if you have a really pink undertone. So for an everyday lipstick, if you have cool undertone, a great one would be a light pink. They could wash out a deeper skin tone, so I'll give uh, other options that are a little bit deeper. But if you have a light to fair skin tones, this for example, this color, which is the Rimmel Lasting Finish uh, Lipstick by Kate Moss. This one is the color 101, which as you can see, it's a beautiful baby pink with a cool undertone, but it is still a really wearable shade. It's not cool, too cool tone that your teeth will look yellow. It's a great shade for every day. And if I compare it to a warmer ones, you will see the difference. This one is the color 102. And as you can see, this one has a little bit more warmth to it, a little bit more like orangey. So this type of shade would suit more your skin tone. If I give an example from MAC would be something like Cream Cup which is a beautiful uh, cream sheen. So again, a beautiful everyday light pink. Angel would also be a great example. So the next ones are deeper neutral shades, which I've been absolutely loving lately. And this type of color would suit absolutely any skin tones, but these type of color that are a little bit more on the cool side will suit cool undertones. So the one that I'm wearing right now is also a NYX matte lipstick. I do love that range quite a bit. And this one is the color Whip Caviar, which is actually a dupe for MAC Faux that I really, really like. So if you were on a budget, I recommend trying this one. I absolutely love it. They're really creamy. They do transfer, but the color will stay in your lips. So it will stay a really long time. So this is a great option. Another one from the drugstore that I absolutely love is the NYX Milani. This is the matte range. This one is the color Naked, which also is like a brownie nude, but is not too brown that fair skin can't get away with it. And it is a little bit on the cool tone side, so if you have really warm skin tone, this might not suit you. But for us cool tone undertones, this worked really, really well. Again, this will suit even deep skin tones. So are the two other ones that I want to mention quickly. The first one would be Faux, which, like I said, I absolutely love this. I've been like destroying this one. A more recent one that I've picked up was the color Brave, which is really similar. Another great one would be uh, Mer, which is a little bit more on the uh, pink side. It's a little deeper, so again, would suit deeper skin tone a little bit better. Completely forgot to mention this color also from the uh, Maybelline Matte range. This one is the color Lust for Blush, which is a beautiful, deeper, uh, purpley pink. So if you have deeper skin tones, you will love this. I have fair skin and I still wear this nonstop. Really recommend that range too. Another type of shade that looks especially good on cool undertone would be these type of like purpley pink shades. This one would be absolutely perfect for spring and summer that's actually coming up. This one is the Rimmel by Kate Moss once again. This one is the color 20, which how beautiful is this? It's not too bright that it's unwearable. It would suit absolutely any skin tone. And if you have cool undertone, this will look especially good on you. So this one is a great uh, drugstore alternative. Another great one would be uh, the NYX matte lipstick. I keep talking about them, but they have really great shade. This one is the Sweet Pink. As you can see, same type of color, really beautiful uh, purpley pink. If you're feeling really brave, you could go with something like MAC Candy Yum Yum because it is quite neutral tone or something like NYX uh, Shocking Pink, which super, super bright, but this looks so good, especially on deep skin tones, especially if you have cool undertone, this look amazing. And the last one I want to mention is from the Maybelline uh, range from the Vivid Colors. This one is the color Hot Plum. It's a little bit more purple than the one I'm wearing, so if you're feeling brave for the spring and summer, this looks amazing. So the perfect type of reds for you will be something with a little bit of pink in them. So for example, the one I'm wearing right now, it is the NYX Matte Lipstick in Bloody Mary. And as you can see, it is really a cool tone pinky red. So if I compare it to really orange uh, warm tone red, like the color in the Flick, as you can see, this one is way more orange. This one will be less flattering in general, and this one will flatter your skin tone a little bit more. So if you weren't sure what type of uh, red lipstick, this is a good one for cool pink undertone. 
There's quite a few at the drugstore and high-end, but I will name two from MAC. The first one would be a Relentlessly Red. As you can see, it is really a bright, really, really matte. So if you don't like really drying lipstick, I would avoid the retro matte finishes, but I absolutely love this color. It's really a cool tone, as you can see, red. And a deeper one would be a matte Russian Red, which also has a little bit of a cool undertone. So this will flatter your skin tone really, really well. So these type of reds will suit any skin tones, but especially cool undertones. Tones. The last group of color I want to mention that looks especially good on cool undertone would have to be this type of like berryish pink colors. The one that I'm wearing right now is from the Maybelline Matte Range. This one is the color Mesmerizing Magenta. So like as you can see, a beautiful magenta color. It's not too bright that you can't pull it off. It's especially good during the fall season. The MAC version of this would be something like Girl About Town, which is a beautiful color. I especially love that one because you can just swipe once to get a little bit of the color. It doesn't look too bright and just leaves a stain all day. Or you can just apply quite a few coats to get a really bright magenta color that is still wearable and again will last all day because it will leave a stain. I quickly just wanted to include like three types of blushes that you can get if you have cool undertone and you're not sure which one to get. The first one would be a light baby pink color. For example, this one is the Tarte Doll Face Blush. So something similar to this, just a light baby pink that isn't too bright, it's super wearable, it's super soft as you can see. You can just blend it out really easily so it looks really natural, it doesn't have to be like clown. <laughs> look so if you're looking for a beautiful type of shade this will be a great option there's also like mac dame which is a great option too if you want something more like everyday basis that would suit your skin tone i recommend something like mac blush baby it looks a little like on the purpley side on the uh, pan if you have cool undertone it will look almost not orangey but a little bit warmer on your cheeks without looking orange like bright orange on you so as you can see, this one will look a little bit warmer without being too orange that you can't pull it off. So if you're looking for something on a daily basis, this is a great option. And if you feel like you can't pull off colors that are like on the peachy side, but you do want one for the spring and summer, one of my favorite that doesn't look too orange on me has to be the NARS Deep Throat Blush, which has to be one of my all-time favorite blush. And it doesn't look too orange on you. It will just, it just has the perfect amount of pink that orgasm doesn't have. So as you can see, it's a light peachy shade, which has a lot of pink into it, so it will not look like it's too much, as you can see. It doesn't look too bright, but it's buildable. If you have deeper skin tone, you will love that shade too. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it, and if you found it helpful, don't forget to subscribe if it's not already done, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!